Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocrats. Uh, in today's video, we will discuss about the analog to digital converter card in uh, Mitsubishi PLC. Uh, we will be using our CPU here, that is IQR series, and the module we will be using is uh, R60 AD4. So let's get started. First of all, what I will do is I have made a new project with the R04 as my CPU. I will go to the parameter sections, then to the module information here. And I'll right click on and then uh, I have this option named add new module so I will click here once I click here I will uh, I can uh, you know add the module from here let's say and log input and it is r 84 so you can use any of this just say this is the basic how you can you know how to do the setting part so it will be uh, almost same for all the other settings so other the module sorry so I have this R6084 module, I click OK and uh, let's change the setting to, you know, I have to use the label, so I click OK, OK here and uh, click on OK now once again. So by doing so, what uh, we will do is we will, you know, we can use the uh, ready-made modules, we don't have to use the buffer memory, we can use the labels, named labels for the module. So now let me right, double click here so we have this input range setting here uh, from 4 to 20 milliampere and we have 0 to 20 also 1 to 5 0 to 5 minus 100 and all the others so this is one option that this is a to d conversion enable disable and this is a to d conversion method which method do you want to use so that is also mentioned so i'll go with the basics now to the application setting we have this scaling if you want to do the scaling part that is okay then we have the shift function also then we have digital clipper uh, warning also that uh, a certain value is, uh, is raised and or something and the output same rate alarm is also here if there is a uh, uh, difference in range then it will the generate an alarm then we have input signal error detection suppose uh, uh, whereas uh, we have some faulty input uh, coming to our uh, A2D converter then it will detect the input signal error from here then we have logging function also and let's go now move to the refresh setting so for the refresh setting we have in the refresh setting we have this target so we will select device and uh, we have all the settings here so what we can do is we can name like D10 or some D0 and uh, d10 so this is my output value and this is my uh, digital operation value then we have maximum minimum value also option here so this is one option by which you can do uh, the setting the other if i remove this, um, this also. the another option is going to the program section that means view to the element selection then we have module we have module labels and we have our system yes so for controls, uh, channel one, sorry, okay, channel one is now. Uh, right click here. We have insert some 400. You can do is you can uh, use MOB. Now copy from here digital value and uh, let's say D0. Now drag and drop this value to this portion so uh, either you can use the refresh setting in this uh, parameter section here or you can use the uh, mm, you can use the program uh, like we can move the value of digital output or operational value from here like this so you can do both things which is suitable to you so that is all you need to do in the uh, a to d converter uh, module so if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.